A gift from the spirit of the tiger. So sweet, so fresh. What a nice chubby boy. Came for lunch himself. Stop right there. <laughs> job. Did you see it? Cuba spent like half an hour sniffing around and I'm like bam bam and found it. I've got an awesome nose. <laughs> well done, Tig. So, Mapa Pandigo, where did the sense of smell even come from? Oh, that's an ancient story, children. Once upon a time, animals didn't have any sense of smell at all. That's incredible. Listen to the story. In those ancient times, animals were relying only on their eyes and ears. But one day, a harsh winter came to the taiga. The weather was freezing cold like never before, and a thick blanket of snow covered the earth. It became very hard for animals to find food and they began starving, and it seemed like the winter would last forever. The spirit of the taiga felt sorry for its children, and so it gave them the sense of smell to find food even under the thickest layer of snow. <gasps> to every single one? Sure, and the keenest sense of smell was given to fierce predators the wolves. That's why you need to be more careful. There are rumors that a red wolf came to our woods. Oh, dear me. That means no more woods for me. Mapa, let's go look for flowers. It's my turn now. <laughs> sure, Mila. Tig, where's Cuba? Cuba? Probably still looking around for his flower. <laughs> The spirit of Tyga didn't do a good job on his nose. <laughs> no, Tig. He's not in the bushes. What if he went to the woods? The red wolf is there. Nah, he must be around here. Tig, we have to find him. Cuba! Hello? Cuba! Where are you? Tig. Stop screaming like that. We don't want the Red Wolf to hear us. Leo, how do we find him? By his tracks? Can you see them? No, Tig. We'll find Cuba by the smell, like you found flowers. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna pick up his trail at once. <laughs> Leo, listen. What does Cuba smell like? Seriously? Like acorns, of course. Here, smell this one. Well... Wait, don't distract me. I think... I think, uh... Ah, got it! Do you smell it? That's definitely Cuba's aroma. Let's find him! Apparently he went off the trail. But why would he go into the woods? Ugh. It's all because of you, Tig. If it weren't for you... Cuba wouldn't go anywhere! What did I do now? Weren't you making fun of him, Tig? Cuba! You've been searching for half an hour! <laughs> Maybe you forgot your nose at home! <laughs> oh, I know! You exchanged your nose for acorns! <laughs> <laughs> Leo, 
I didn't know that he'd take it so personally. Tig, it's not okay to laugh at friends. Do you like it when Martins make fun of you? <laughs> For being afraid of heights so much? Okay, okay, I get it now. Stop! Where's the smell? It disappeared. <gasps> I don't like this at all, Leo. So who is he hiding from? Leo, I sense another smell. <gasps> Calm down, Tig. He's not even real. Cuba, come on. Go away, go away. Let's go. We have to save Cuba. Right, if he hasn't gotten eaten already. What a surprise. A kitten dessert. Leo, do you think this one's real? He said we're dessert. Must have eaten Cuba already. And now he's gonna eat us. the trail all right you've outsmarted me but next time you won't manage to run away from me <laughs> it worked he left he couldn't smell us <laughs> Tig, thanks to the monster the mud covered our smell <laughs> Cuba! Yeah! Our missing boy is back. <laughs> and we thought you were the Bogland monster, not Cuba. <laughs> Listen, Cuba, you know, I'm sorry I was making fun of you. You might not have a sharp sense of smell, but I would never, ever think of hiding like that. <laughs> and this is Lily of the Valley, my favorite. Here, smell it. Amazing, right? Ew! Mappa, it smells like frogs! <laughs> You're right. That smells very weird. Very weird. It's 
it's because of us. <laughs> I'm a muddy monster! I'm gonna save everyone! Tig, you're nothing like a monster. You're just a dirty little tiger cub. <laughs> yeah, one who smells like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Little feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hurry! Hey, careful! Oh, my Mika! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your step! Elsa! <laughs> Thank you. So what happened exactly? Elsa! Elsa's coming! Oh, that's Elsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero! safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy. And that's why we'd like to invite you to a feast. In your honor. Feast in my honor? This is so awesome. I'm a hero. Hero, hero, Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight. Praise the hero. Hey, you need to be more careful carrying me. Don't let the hero fall, right? Oh, hero, take the courageous. Are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. It's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. Careful! Oh, oh. Hey! Help me! Whew. Huh? Made it. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The, the second deed! The second deed! Hero. Oh, your royal highness! It's the second heroic deed! Take this! Get out of here! The third deed! It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right! The hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero. hero! Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig! <laughs> the legend's telling the truth! You came back to us again. The legend? <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. <gasps> Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Tiger heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. 
only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome! What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! And Praise now when hero! you are here, you will chase Praise away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! Heh, <laughs> not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Bilza. You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Praise the hero! Praise I don't want to be your hero. hero! Praise the hero! Hey, you! Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now! Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero. I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends. Please? Okay. <laughs> Cuba! Catch! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back and start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Hero! Hero! Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero! Do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No. The hero's ready. <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you. some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Bielsa got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. 
Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we used to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! <laughs> the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. <laughs> Guys, watch this. I got this. I am going to hit it on the first try. <laughs> you missed. It's all, it's all because of the wind. <laughs> sure, the wind. <laughs> well, let me give that another shot. <laughs> Something always gets in Tig's way. A foundling. Fellas! Huh? Look at what I found. It was there in the sand. Oh, an egg. I wonder who it belongs to. And, oh, I wonder who's going to pop out of it. Or, or what's going to pop out of it. For something to pop out of it, one of us will have to sit on it first. So, Tig, go ahead. Ha! <laughs> sit down. Why do I have to do it? Because you, my friend, are the most fluffy and the most pillowy. <laughs> Curious. Do you think it could be a duck? <gasps> Maybe a stork. I heard that snakes also hatch from eggs. Ow! What in the? The snake bit me! Relax, will ya? It's just a little turtle. <gasps> Look how cute it is. <gasps> He's so precious. <laughs> Tig can't tell a baby turtle from a snake. <laughs> oh, come on, Leo. I was just kidding a bit. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? <gasps> Ooh, a meal! <gasps> A vulture! <laughs> oh, a three-course meal! Hurry into the forest! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Phew, that was too close. Hey, guys! Look over here! Our little turtle glued his fingers together. Maybe he's a little weird? I got it! That must be why the other turtles ditched him. Oh, poor baby. We'll take really good care of you. Isn't that right, boys? Of course we will. Know what? I'm going to make a true tiger out of him. Why, a tiger, huh? He could become a great leopard. Oh, I will call you a little baby T. Remember, baby T, tiger is the tiger's king. Ha! <laughs> we got a king. Don't interrupt, Leo. T. Do you know why everyone is afraid of tigers? Because they are really, really super fierce. Rawr! Make sense? Well, now you try. Come on, louder, like this. Rawr! Enough! Now it's my turn. Bear in mind, Baby T, that an ambush is the best way to overcome an enemy. We leopards are experts at this. Rawr! <laughs> uh. 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 
<laughs> well, that's not quite like a leopard. <laughs> but it's a good start. <laughs> and use that little precious angel in the bathtub, huh? <laughs> it's you, my little cutie patootie. Okay, Baby T, your mission right now is to catch this dragonfly. And we tigers call this thing hunting. Now go! <laughs> All right, Tig, I think it's my turn to train little T now. No way! Because he's still not a real tiger yet. But he won't be, because Baby T will grow up to become the bravest leopard. Tiger, leopard, guys, does it really even matter? He's just a baby. Oh, guys, guys, wh wh where is T? Yoo-hoo, little guy, hello. T, where are you? Baby T, come out, say something. We're here. Nope, we'll never find him like this. We gotta split up. Tig, you go left. And Mila, you go right. I'll go straight ahead. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Baby T! <laughs> Where are you? Oh, Mila. Where are you going in such a hurry? Mm. Oh, Mappa Pandiga. Hello, sir. We can't find our little baby T anywhere. Where's little T? What do you mean? Baby T. You know, the little turtle. He has these special sort of little feet, as if they're glued together. Nope. I haven't seen him. Also, what would a turtle with glued feet, as you say, be doing in the forest? Turtles live elsewhere. No way. But where? Well, let me tell you. A long while ago, all turtles used to live ashore. But one fateful day, spring came about and brought along high waters. One of the islands on the river became completely covered in water. Then the oldest and wisest turtle turned to the river and asked it to have pity on them and teach her children and grandchildren how to swim. The river was deeply moved by her plea and gave all turtles webbed feet. But they still lay their eggs ashore, so that before going into water, the little ones could get a chance to know where they came from, land, their first home. It is a memory they will cherish for the rest of their lives. And when a baby turtle comes into the world, it is guided to the water by the soul of that very wise turtle. So that means that T is a water dweller. Yoo-hoo! T! Where are you? Say something! Ugh, there's no sign of him. Guys, guys, listen up! It turns out that T is a water dweller. What? A water dweller? If that's true, then that must mean he... Yes! He's at the river! <gasps> but guys, the vulture! <laughs> My lunch order's here, with an extra crispy tortilla shell. <laughs> oh. Hey, you! Back off our little baby tea. Could you say that again? Didn't catch that. Keep your filthy beak off baby tea. <laughs> I'm so honored to have guests for dinner. <gasps> Oh, 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 yeah, take that! Ah. 
way. Ah. Just know that I like to come back for seconds. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Well done, Baby T. <laughs> That's my student. Uh, no way. I taught him. <laughs> no, we taught him together. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's her! It's the wise turtle! Goodbye! Swim, T. This is your family. And, well, I wanted to say, you were one awesome tiger. And a brave leopard! T, don't forget to ride! <laughs> Get up, lazy bones! <laughs> Time to wake up! <sighs> what if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. <sighs> you sleepy heads! Yo, line up! Suck in that gut! And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice. What, target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two. This will surely be you. <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you. Now get to the hollow. Where? To the hollow. Ready and aim. Fire! With you. Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here. Well, it's a horrible game. Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever. <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey! All hands on deck! Drop anchor! Aye, aye! Captain, set sail! Captain! Buy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses. Aye, the spy glass, Captain. Helm to port. Aye, helm to port. Ensign, hoist the colors. Aye, hoisting the colors. the boat out! When you need something done... Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <gasps> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mama's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the borders ready? Borders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> 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 Steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about... Friendship. Mm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> that is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. <laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? 
Weird magic. <laughs> uh, huh? Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out? What the magic is? I know! I know! Pick me! Of course. Go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! <laughs> <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! <laughs> a pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate <laughs> flag! Yeah! Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are. <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike. Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike. Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Striped come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, there will be really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man-eating fish. And aggressive spiders! <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Hey, Striped! Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you, because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship, and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Teak run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't Whoa. even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big, fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! <laughs> 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 to help you. Yo ho ho! No, no one will save, save you now! now. Oh no, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do. So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way, you can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <gasps> hmm. <Help>! What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! Leo, Tink, help me! <laughs> hey, you! Let Mila go right now! No way! Your crew member is now ours. And the ship as well. <laughs> Yo, ho, ho. <laughs> Here we come. Guys, remember, when we're together, we're strong.
We did it! Yeah! Run, run! <laughs> Wicked pirates! Yeah! <laughs> Leo, I still don't believe it. How could I have been tricked by the Martins? Don't worry about it. You and I are best friends forever. Boys, what's that in Leo's paws? Huh? In my paws? <laughs> twigs! Yes, the twigs, which can only be broken one at a time, but are strong together. Well, let's set sail. The desert island is waiting for us. And sign, hoist the colors. <laughs> I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over. And it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? <gasps> How exciting! Tell us more, Mappa. Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. <laughs> Look at that! Awesome! Mappa, who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the chosen one, the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the sun listened to him. But Mappa Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the quick river and the big swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the Sun Folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. Leo! Leo, stop sitting around! Come play tag with us! Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. It will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You? The Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. <laughs> no way. I'm not going to go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. 
Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. Uh, uh, I have to find the sunstone by myself. I got this, guys. <laughs> we finally made it to the big swamp. <sighs> I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. <gasps> Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. Whew. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. Uh. 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 Leo, uh. you might want to be careful. Uh. It's okay. I can do this. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Uh. Uh. Oh, Leo! Uh. Are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go! Oh. Oh. Okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. Mama <laughs> didn't say that they were hot. The Sunstone! Found it! <sighs> Leo, wait for us! Huh? Ow! <gasps> They're singeing my fur off! Ah, Leo, watch out! Jara, I'm the chosen one. I'll come up with something. You tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push! <laughs> <laughs>
Together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. <laughs>